Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today is a day that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Um, many of you probably know or I've seen the video where I put a hydraulic handbrake in the Super here. But I'm actually going to be taking that one out and upgrading to this beautiful Siki Hydro Brake. The one in the car sucks. You really have to put your full body weight and strength into it to make the tires lock up. Um, it's loose and wobbly. It's not a good design at all. I think the seal might be going bad in it. So we're going to be upgrading a significant upgrade to this Siki Siki hydraulic handbrake. Um, I'll go through some features and benefits of this later on, but for now, let's get in there, grip the old one out, and then we can do a side-by-side -side comparison. So Tony's making a lot of noise and being really loud with his buffer, but that's okay, because I need to make noise too, because if you remember, I welded this hydro brake in. It's not bolted in. So uh, I need to bust out my angle grinder and cut these welds out. Alright, I think my eyes recovered from the brake fluid from getting in it. Um, if you can, don't get brake fluid in your eye. It's not a pleasant experience. Brake fluid's nasty. I'm glad I still have my eye. But I got the crappy case board out. Now let's take these over to the workbench and uh, take a closer look at them and compare them. Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of our badass Siki Hydro handbrake and our crappy K-Sport Hydro Brake. This is pretty much equal to an eBay one, even though it is K-Sport, it is very cheaply made. Um, I mean, just looking at the two, you can see the Siki one looks way more badass, and it just looks like better quality. You don't even have to touch them to, to know that. But um, the K-Sport one has a lot of play in it. You know, it's pretty much, if you move the handle, this movement right here won't really do much. Um, it's got all this side-to-side -side movement. This is cast aluminum. It's all cheap stuff. The master cylinder is a no-name master cylinder. Um, it's pretty much your run-of-the-mill eBay one, even though it says K-Sport. And like I said, I had to put all my body weight and strength into this to even lock it up. It was not that good. Um, wasn't the happiest with it. I'm super excited about this sicky one. So as you can see, it looks way more badass. This handle is just very ergonomic. It feels fantastic in your hand. Looks badass. This is built aluminum. I'm not sure what the handle is made out of, but it feels fantastic. It's big. It's grippy. Your hand's not going to slip on it. It's got a nice Willwood master cylinder on it. It's actually a Willwood. It is not uh, cheap eBay junk. It is actually Willwood. Um, it feels great. There's no play in it at all it's very firm and just just doing this action feels phenomenal this action alone just feels phenomenal and i'm going to show you one of the key reasons as to why these are so much better um if you notice it's really hard to see it's really hard to notice but when you pull the handle this rod doesn't go in straight it kind of goes down it doesn't go in perfectly straight. It's really hard to see on this one. Um, but the way the Siki one is designed, the rod goes in perfectly straight, and that's to help keep the seals lasting longer, and that's what makes it so much better. So way more high quality, not that much more money, and it looks so much bad, so much more badass. It's fantastic. So uh, let's go install this thing. Okay, so I'm thinking about putting this in the exact same spot pretty much that the K-Sport one was in. 
I do like it being right here. A lot of people are like, oh, why don't you switch it around and put it this way? Well, because my arm doesn't bend this way. I can only get this much range of motion if I put it over here. But if I put it on this side, look how much more I can move my arm. It's it's an absolute no-brainer. I don't know why people keep telling me to put it this way. It's stupid. Um, I'm definitely liking it here, but I don't like how straight up it is. So I'm going to see if I can adjust this uh, turnbuckle thing and push this handle a little bit more forward so I have a little bit more range of motion. Move this pin. And then, uh, oh, there's two washers on there. I should be able to just thread this out. Obviously, I don't want to do it too far. Yeah, it's a little bit more angle for me. I think that'll do just perfect. Sweet. All right, so I got the Siki Hydro brake welded in. It's pretty much now just time to hook it up with fluid. When I hooked up my previous hydraulic cam brake, um, people said I was wrong about the way I hooked it up, that I had like the in and the out all switched up and everything because people are stupid. But uh, I'm gonna show you with brake fluid, which one of these lines is the in and out, and then also with this master cylinder, which port is the in and out. So I've got some brake fluid here and I'm gonna show you. So. We're not incorrect about hooking this up. Which one is the out and the in? So I've got a little bit of brake fluid in the master cylinder. I'm gonna press the brake pedal and see where the fluid comes out of. And whichever one the fluid comes out of, that will be the in. Okay, so this one is the in. All right, so we'll put a little bit of brake fluid in this master cylinder and pull the handle and try not to squirt myself in the eye again and see where the fluid comes out of. Ah! Okay! We found it! It comes out of the front! It comes out of the front! I wasn't wrong! Okay, people? In, out. In, out. In, out! Okay? Alright, so to hook these up, it was actually really confusing finding a way to hook it up to this port right here, because this is a 7 16 by 20 threaded hole and there really aren't any brake line fittings like this for a 7 16 by 20. So I had to get a banjo bolt fitting and kit which took me a while to find but lucky for you I have a link in the description for you if you'll need something like this. But the Siki Hydro Brake comes with this fitting right here and I believe this is like a this is a 3 16 bubble flare end that accepts a standard 3 16 fitting. But I actually don't need this because I already have a 3 16 bubble flare fitting flared onto this brake line. So my out line will or should just thread right in. But then for here, I'm actually going to have to go down under the car and shorten this line or wind it up because I have a brake line that will attach here, which I'll get to that in a bit once I thread this on. Make sure you get it good and tight, but don't overkill it. All right, all right, we got the out line in nice and secure, and now for the feed line. It's supposed to be a 7 16 by 20 threaded hole, which it's not very common to find a brake fitting that size. So what I did, took me a while to find this, but I think it's gonna work pretty good. I found a kit that comes with two stainless steel braided brake lines with a 3 16 end on one end and a banjo bolt fitting on the other. So what I'm going to do is I have a banjo bolt and two copper washers. Take the banjo bolt, put the copper washer on there, banjo bolt through the fitting, add another copper washer, and then we're going to thread this into the master cylinder. 
All right, once you get that threaded on, this will accept a standard 3 16 brake fitting, which I have right here. These are probably the most common brake fittings out there. And it threads right in. Now, I'm not gonna keep this line long and pull it up like this, so I'm gonna go under the car, shorten this line, and then attach this fitting down underneath, so I'm gonna reflare this under the car, which is gonna suck, but it's gonna make it a lot cleaner. First, I'm gonna shove this down in there. Yeah, in there nice and deep like. Whoops, broke that. Broke my center console. <laughs> We're about to flare it. You want to know a really annoying fact about flaring brake line? The best flare that you can do is one where you forget to put the fitting on before you flare it. Every single time. It's the best one. But I have to redo it and it never turns out as good. Talk about annoying. I think I actually did a video with Mark on how to flare brake line. So if you don't know how to flare brake line and you want to know, uh, I'll try to put a link in the description or right here on our video on how to flare a brake line. There we go. So we flared it once, now we gotta flare it again. That's why it's called a double flare brake line. Alright, let's see how bad I messed it up. Let's see if it's gonna work or not. Please be good. I don't feel like... Oh, man. That's terrible, I think. Only one way to find out to see if it leaks. Let's see what happens. As you can see, I have the brake line now connected to the brake hose. I'm gonna test it to check for leaks before I tidy that up and make it clear the drive shaft because I don't wanna do a bunch of work if I have to reflare it. So now we're gonna tighten everything up and check the system for leaks. Now tighten this banjo bolt down pretty good, but don't ever crank it. It's very easy to break banjo bolts. Ask me how I know. All right, let's add fluid. Now for the sakes of testing and checking for leaks, I'm gonna be using this Valvoline junk, but when we actually bleed the system and finalize it, I'm gonna be using this Modal 5.1. I'm not gonna use this for checking for leaks because uh, it's expensive and I don't wanna waste it. Okay, so we bled the brakes. The old fluid was looking pretty nasty. There's no leaks. Uh, I guess I can now go down and Tidy up the, 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 the brake line. And there you go. It's all tidied up. Nothing a couple zip ties can't do. And this uh, Siki Hydro brake install is finished. Sweet. Well, there you go. My Siki Hydro handbrake works way better than the K Sport one. I love the way it looks, I love the way it feels, I couldn't be happier with it. I want to give a big thanks to Siki for helping me out with this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go check out Siki.com to see more of their awesome products and their Hydro handbrakes like this. We offer them in a couple of different colors. You won't regret picking one up, I promise. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I will see you next time. Thanks.